Special thanks to Patreon supporter Z Pro Warfare for making this tour possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool for here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel. The Lockheed Martin RQ-170 Sentinel is an American unmanned aerial vehicle known as a UAV. Developed by Lockheed Martin and operated by the United States Air Force for the Central Intelligence Agency or CIA. While the U.S. Air Force has released a few details on the UAV's design or capabilities, defense analysts believe that it is a stealth aircraft fitted with aerial reconnaissance equipment. Some images and details on the aircraft were released after Iran captured an RQ-170 in 2011. So yeah, the RQ-170 um, Sentinel, very in interesting aircraft, a lot of kind of, uh, you know, quietness and uh, classified stuff surrounding this type of aircraft. Um, as I mentioned before, it's basically designed to be really a stealth aircraft. It kind of follows the same design of a B-2 in a flying wing type configuration and definitely has those kind of stealth, um, you know, abilities and all that stuff that, or stealth type design that you would see on many stealth aircraft. Uh, overall, pretty cool little build and it's going to make an awesome addition to any of your battlefields as a surveying drone or just a you know, cool addition to your base, having a little drone squadron or something like that stationed out of them. Um, but cool stuff here and a pretty simple and small build for um, what it is. Before we go and take a look at it, I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporters the Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description. where you can go and play a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so, earn a vehicle request you're choosing. Help support the work I do and it is obviously greatly appreciated. So, again, um, feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in the video descriptions. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and kind of move into taking a look here at the, uh, the aircraft. So to kind of get started with, obviously it's a flying wing. Um, as you can see here, pretty simplistic type design. Pretty small one as well. We do have a landed and in-flight version for it as well. So you will have those two capabilities for you if you do want to have it landed or flying. Um, pretty simple design here. We got like the black line or kind of a black lean edge here for the wing. And, uh, you know, obviously the kind of main drone section located right there and the engine and that's really about it it's super simple super small and uh, should be a pretty cool and quick build for you guys all to uh, enjoy anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer all right guys so going ahead and moving into our first layer we have layer one layer one here is a super simple layer all we're going to do here is uh we're just going to be placing down uh basically total of four blocks before we get started though um to begin with we want to go ahead and make sure that if we're building this landed that we make sure that we build this the proper height off the ground we're going to be building this if this is as if it's the in-flight version and then going back and adding a modification onto the build which turns into the landed version so to make sure that this is correct you want to make sure that this is two blocks off the ground if you are building the landed version um, or on the second block up from the ground so you can see we have a block and half of space in between our slabs here and the ground level uh, so this is kind of up two blocks up and on the top half of the second block so again if you are building this in the landed configuration that's what you want to do but if you haven't already we're going to place down a black stone top slab two stone top slabs and then an iron trap door come off the last uh, stone top slab and that right there is going to complete your first layer with that let's go ahead and move into our next layer layer number two all right guys so go ahead and move into our next layer layer two for layer two here we're just going to be building the uh, right side and the center line of the wing and then you'll be up to you guys to copy it over it's a pretty simple layer and will be through it pretty quick uh, to begin with though we're going to go place down a stone block on top of this black stone top slab off that stone block we're going to place down a stone upside down stair coming off of it followed by another polished black stone top slab and then two end rods like that for the very front of the drone. Going back from the stone block, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four. So it sticks out one past this iron trap door here. We're going to then place down a stone top slab and then an iron trap door after that to finish that off. Once we have that all done there, we're going to go and place down a polished black stone top slab coming off the side of the stone stair. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair back from it, two stone full blocks, a stone upside down stair again, and then one and two stone top slabs back, followed by an iron trap door. Uh, after that, we're going to then take our Blackstone. We're going to place down a blackstone top slab cut off the stair. Going back from that, we want to go and then place down two stone top slabs. So we're going to go back one, two stone top slabs, and then one, two, three, and four iron trap doors back. Next, uh, row to the side here and place down our polished blackstone slab. And we want to go and then go back one, two, and three stone blocks, followed by one, two iron trap doors. 
We're going to then place down a polished black stone top slab coming off this stone slab here. Two stone top slabs back, and then two iron trap doors. Again, go out the side here and there, polished black stone top slab, followed by a row of three of iron trap doors going back like so. Once we have that done, we're going to then place down a dark oak trap door coming off this one. Then one and two iron trap doors back. Place an air dark oak wood trap door, and again two iron trap doors back like so. We're going to place down an air dark oak wood trap door here, and then going back from it, we're going to place down two iron trap doors like so. And then one more dark oak wood trap door coming off this first iron trap door like that out to the side. Looking at from above here, this is what we should have for this layer. You're going to take what we did on the right side and flip it over to the left side so you get something that looks like this. Once we have that done, uh, we do also want to go ahead and go to the bottom here, and on the bottom of these, stone full blocks. We're going to be going ahead and placing down levers and we're going to flick these so that they are connected up to the slabs like this on both sides. After we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up the bottom there of the drone and or, uh, the bottom here of the wings and with that layer two. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number four. I right, guess moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and begin, we're going to place down a dark oak with trap door on top of this black stone top slab here in the front. We're going to go back with a stone slab, iron trap or iron bar, a black concrete block and then one, two, three, and four stone blocks back, a bl polished black stone slab here. Get off the polished black stone slab, we're going to place down an item frame with a black concrete block in the item frame and then a dark oak wood sign over the item frame like so. We then also want to place down a dark oak wood sign on both sides of this polished black stone block back here. After you have that done, we're going to start working our way out to the sides now. We're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of that polished black stone block there. Uh, one stone stair back, followed by two stone full blocks, a stone stair like this, and an air stair coming off. So you have a corner stair, regular stair, and then a stone slab like that going back. We then want to place down there a dark oak wood trap door here, followed by a stone slab, stone stair, and a stone corner stair, which will be coming off of this stair like so. And for some reason, this does not want to connect. It's kind of funky. Um, but yeah, if it doesn't want to connect, I guess just put a stone stair there. And then we're just going to place down a skeleton skull and an iron trap door. And then we're going to place down a stone pressure plate back like that. After that's done, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood trap door here. A nether stone slab. And we want to go and go two more back from it, followed by an iron trap door. And then a stone pressure plate like that on the end there. Again, going up here to the front, dark oak wood trap door. One, two, three. Stone slabs back and then a stone pressure plate. We're going to place down an air dark oak trap door here and then going back two stone slabs and then a iron trap door. We're going to place down an air dark oak trap door here stone slab and a second stone slab back and then we're going to place down an iron trap door. We then want to go and place down a dark oak wood trap door there on the front one two stone slabs back then an iron trap door come off the last stone slab. Once we have that done, we're going to then place down a polished black stone slab that is going to be on top of this dark oak wood trap door here. And we want to go then go back from it with a skeleton skull on top of this iron trap door, a stone slab, and then a iron trap door. Next row here, we're going to place down a polished black stone slab here. And then going back from that, we want to go and take our stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a stone brick slab. And then an iron trap door. Going to the side here again, we're going to place down a polished black stone slab like that. And we want to go ahead and then follow this up by placing down a uh, stone brick slab back from this as well. And then an iron trap door. Okay guys, so real quick I actually made a slight mistake here, so we're going to go ahead and fix that. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to delete this outer row like so. And we're going to then replace this stone brick slab here with a stone slab. Now once we get to this point here, we're going to then place down a polished black stone slab like that. We're going to then place down a stone brick slab and then an iron trap door back from it. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. So just like this out to the side here. And then coming off this stone brick slab, we're just going to place down a stone slab like so. And you're going to do the same thing there on both sides and I'll go ahead and finish off what we have there for layer number three. Uh, with that, that's a little bit for layer three. Let's go ahead and move on to our final layer, layer number four. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our final layer. We have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull on top of this iron bar here. From that, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone slab back from it, and then we're going to go ahead and then place down a second stone slab after that. We're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on the, uh, or sorry, actually, it's going to be a iron trap door on both sides of the second slab here. 
And then also across from those iron trap doors on top of these stone stairs, we're going to be placing down a uh, skeleton skull on top of those that stair to both sides like so. Once we have that done, we want to go and then place down a daylight det detector going back from the stone slab, turn to night mode, and we want to go and then place down our iron trap door, an item frame, and in that item frame we're placed on a white concrete block. With all done there, that is going to finish off what we have for the in-flight version for the RQ-170 Sentinel. And with that, we're going to go ahead and move into adding the land gear for a modification. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the landing gear, pretty simple stuff. We're going to be going ahead and starting off by going here and going to the nose here of the aircraft. We're going to place down a birchwood fence post that comes down from the stair. And on the bottom of this fence post, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a grindstone, like so. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a birchwood fence gate, which can be coming off this birchwood fence post. And we're going to have it opened up toward the fence gate. And then over here to the left side of the fence post, we're going to place down a light gray banner, just like that on the left side and left side only. And that's going to do it for your front wheel. Moving to our rear wheels here, we're going to start off by going ahead and breaking these one, two, and three stone top steps are right in here. So we're going to go ahead and go to our first row of two of polished black stone, go the second one out to the side, and then we're going to delete the three stone top steps behind it. We're going to go ahead and go to the last top, uh, stone block here. We're going to place it on a birchwood fence post that comes down from it, followed by a second fence post, and then a block of coal here on the bottom of that fence post. We're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull, come off the birchwood fence post, and then coming up from the skeleton skull, we're going to place down a end rod. Like that, which is going to connect up in the inside there and make our little wheel well. Now to make the doors look like they are actually open, we're going to go and delete these two stone top slabs and this iron trap door. And in its place, we're going to place down a row of three of upside down stone stairs across there to make the doors look like they are open for the uh, uh, landing gear bay. After that's all done, we're going to be going ahead and taking our uh, making a banner. So we're going to go and do a black outline around the banner and then just a line across the center. So you get a design look that looks like this. And we want to go and just very simply place this on both sides of the block of coal like that to go ahead and make our wheels. And you're just going to go and take that same design over here not for this landing gear and place it over on the right side. And you'll have both uh, landing gear basically done for the aircraft. And with that, that's going to complete my tutorial here for the RQ-170 Sentinel uh, Unmanned Aerial Reconnaissance Vehicle. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be linked from Asana build to link to my channel or this video if this does bring you souls and media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free as a favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, and then that, thank you guys again so much for watching. Again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter the Z Pro Warfare for making this tutorial possible. And uh, as always, this has been Gary24, and I'll see you guys next time.